It's about like certain facts context about and intent. <clears throat> but that also doesn't always make it okay. We're gonna play the same ones again, aren't we? <laughs> It'll be funny. But it also doesn't always make it okay. Right. Because it's you like, can just say a thirty year old is ignorant that sexual assault is bad and but that doesn't make it okay. Yeah. But they have a fully functioning brain to, to figure like, out if someone says no, it means they don't want it. Super extreme example. Yes. But like, other yeah. people would say that saying the N-word is super extreme. So That's I, true. I thought a super extreme example would fit. How would you feel about, like... Ooh, we caught it. Good job. <clears throat> How would I feel? How would, like, and I'm not saying I agree with this or not. I'm just, like, for the sake of, like... The common Conversation, yeah. Uh, because I... <laughs> we I, are two white guys together. <laughs> because I don't agree with it. But, like, how would you feel about, like, somebody who is, like... Uh, good friends with a black person and their black friend they have an n-word house yeah their black friend says hey when you're with me I don't care if you say the n-word how do you feel about that because I still think if I were in that situation I still wouldn't, I say, wouldn't it. say it I wouldn't feel comfortable saying it even though this that person would be this comfortable isn't me, with me protecting my online identity it's just I just wouldn't I just still wouldn't say it. I've right. been in that situation. Mm. Um, it was one person, and I wasn't even that close to him. And he was like half black. Which, I'm not saying half or full, you should or shouldn't say it. But some... It's one of those where it'd be like, oh, some people wouldn't consider it valid, you know? Right. So even if... It's again up to, like, context and whatever. Because it's not up to me to decide what... I got hit by that red shell. What? I got hit by the green shell. Yeah, it's not up to the white guy to determine if half black or straight, like, full Right, black like, it's not, we're not, like, <clears throat> deciding this here and now. We're just, I'm just saying talking that, about stuff. I'm just saying that back then, I was like, well, I'd rather someone who's fully, you know. Yeah. You understand. It's just, it's all weird. Yeah, it, it feels weirder to talk about than I feel like it should. Um, I don't have any issues talking about it, but it does have that weird negative, I have to watch every single word that I say. Right, it's because it's like, if I don't say the exact right thing, I'm going to get my... Which is... I'm going to get my teeth kicked but that's in. But that's the weird part, is usually I wouldn't say anything weird anyway. Right. Because why, why should it feel any different that I'm saying something now versus saying something in my regular downtime, when there's no difference in the things that I say? It, exactly, like... I, I can confidently say that, like, on camera and off camera, you, like, say the same things you would. Yeah. Of course, there is going to be, like, some difference, because that's, like, just, a, just a proven thing that people are different when they're yeah. being observed. I, I fully agree. But like, And I'm not saying that I'm the exact same person all the time, on camera, off camera. But it's the idea of just, for some reason, talking about it to other people... I think it's because it's something that is such a controversial and such an opinionated thing. Right. Regardless of if it should be opinionated or not, it is. I love this stage. There are so many opinions about the N-word, about who should or shouldn't, or the different races, the different feelings, the different meanings. Right. There's no objective, straight, yes or no answer for it for a lot of situations. Right. Um... And I think that's a part of the reason why it's so hard to talk about. It's because you can't remain anonymous and objective when you're talking about an opinionated subject. Right. Not that it should be opinionated. I kind of think it shouldn't be. Yeah. I kind of think there should just oh, be God. clear defined rules about it. But that's also saying there should be clear defined rules about what people can and can't say, which is wrong. Right. And that's why there's no objectiveness to it. In my opinion. I could be wrong about any of this. That's just what I think. I don't know. But it, anyway, you, you asked me an actual question. I know people who say the word um, because they say they grew up in the hood or in the ghetto. But they're, they're like the whitest person when you look at them. Right. Like uh, that person I had issues with. Okay. She says it. Or said it. At least a lot. Like when she was around me, she would say it all the time. Really? Yeah. 
I feel like you told me that before. And I'm not trying to get anyone canceled. I'm not saying... Are you just s stating your experience? Yeah, and no one knows who this person is because I haven't spoken about him before. Like, or said identity or anything. I don't want to... I don't want to say anything bad about someone. But... They were very, like... Well, I grew up in the hood. I grew up in the ghetto. I'm allowed to say that word because the people I'm around are black people and the people I'm around say that. I feel like that's kind of a, a PP excuse. And she also um, said that the people, hey, I got you. And the people that she was around, the black people she was around, were okay with her saying that. But that's that's also like, well, there's going to be other people who are black <laughs> who aren't going to be okay with that. But she only said it in private. I feel like she only says the word in private, like with me or with. I assume those people. Or she could have made the whole story up. I have no idea if those people even gave her permission. But for the <laughs> sake of the argument, we're saying that they did. Right, giving her the benefit of the doubt? Yeah, because there's no way for me to know. I never met any of these people or saw them. Um, I'm doing very bad. It's fine. It's just about talking and hanging out together. No, I know. I'm just stating. <laughs> you are terrible, aren't you? I'm competitive. I'm not. I just like to relax and have fun. Okay, so I let go of the controller and looked at you, and when I looked back, Lakitu was not waving, and I was slowing down, and I went, <gasps> Was that Lakitu? <laughs> <laughs> but no, it... But, yeah, that... It, it's just to talk about that question you asked me. Yeah. She did that. She says that in private, because she thinks it's okay, because black people told her it was. Hmm. So I think, like I, again, not to sound like a broken record, but it's, like... It's an upside-down smiley face. <laughs> you see it? Yes. Okay, you sound like a broken record. Uh, but it is just down to, like, personal, like, conviction and, like, preference and, like, context. Oh. <laughs> I saw that. But I, I agree with you that it shouldn't be, and that just, if you're not black, you shouldn't say it. I just, I don't know how to determine that. Not if someone is black or not, but just, I can't do that. Right. I can't be that person. But it also feels weird to be like, all right, black people, decide. Yeah, <laughs> but I can't also you tell black, I, mean? I can't start a black movement because... Because we're not black. Yeah. It also is difficult because the white man slash power shut down those ideas and movements and say, well, we disagree with you and your opinions that you say are objective. Because you know the Karen videos, I have freedom of speech. Yeah. If I want to say the N word in my home, I'll do it. <clears throat> and it's one of those, I, I no one, like no one can stop them. From my perspective as a Christian, I think that if it a should word, be a moral dilemma, though. If a word is going to make somebody uncomfortable around me, or is going to make them feel bad about themselves, or is going to, like, demean them in any way, and I, I just don't want to say that word, like, around them. I agree. Like, I think that's how it should be. Like... To some degree. I still, like... I think lighthearted, like... Joking is fun. Like, I'll call you stupid and, like, stuff like that. But, like, we know, like, there's no malice in that. And, again, I guess that does come back to the whole, like, context thing. But there's, like, a difference between calling someone stupid and calling someone, like, a slur. And I, I was actually about to bring that up because I have a question about it. <clears throat> what if a white person is uncomfortable with that word being used? Uh, the then is a, yeah, then is a white person going to be telling the black person they can or cannot use this word that uh, only they're allowed to use? I don't know. That, that's what I've always been confused about. I think. Because it's like, oh, if someone's uncomfortable, I shouldn't say it. But what if the race that's not allowed to say it is uncomfortable with the word? And people would say, oh, suck it up. But like, when someone's uncomfortable with something, physically or emotionally... Saying suck it up is very... Right, you want to respect their boundaries. 
because people feel things and people don't control how they feel and if they know the origins of a word or they know the meaning behind it and it makes them uncomfortable then they shouldn't be forced to be around that or right. hear that or be subjected to it on the they other can't hand stop that that makes them feel uncomfortable which it doesn't make me i just i know people who are like that on the other hand i used to be like in high school and stuff i used to be very much like Hey guys, can y'all like not say swear words around me? Can like, cause you know that, but like, I feel like. I did that too at one point, but you also know me and I'm like the edgy kid who says the swear words, <laughs> but I'm also the one who says not to. So. I think from my, at least my perspective on this, if, unless it's like, cause I don't, I don't know. Uh, I used to be very much like, can you not say swear words around me, please? And like you know. Now you're on a channel with me. <laughs> but now <laughs> Quite it's literally. like. Uh, I don't want to say they don't bother me as much because they still it still bothers me when people say it. But I'm not gonna like police them anymore. <laughs> every time I cuss. Like if every time you said something, I was like, Dylan. Come on, you sinner. Yeah. <laughs> but, like, I, I still have friends from high school where it's like they'll say a bad word around me and they're like, oh, I'm sorry, Christian. And it's like I don't want them to have to feel like they have to apologize to me. You know what I mean? Well, it would suck to be the friend where every time you're around someone you feel like you have to watch what they say. Cause then right. You, and, like, I, you feel like you're always in the N word conversation. I kind of feel bad for, like, making having to like force people to think like that be like oh I have to watch what I say I'm a Christian that's how I feel with Rebecca she has words that I'm allowed to or not allowed to say that's is that like a relationship like boundary that you have with her kind of thing she doesn't like when anybody says these words like you with the whole cussing thing mm -hmm. like she doesn't like when okay I'm gonna go ahead and like right and it really frustrated me because she was like, I really don't like this word and I'm really uncomfortable whenever you say it. Oh, good job. Thank you. It would have been you if it wasn't me. You you were in second place. You were right yeah. underneath me, so you did good too. All right, let's do one more. <laughs>